Today is an exciting and interesting day because I finally get the opportunity to gain more insight about a type of tech that I've had curiosity about for quite some time, but just hadn't found time to explore. This technology isn't that new and it's been around for a while now, but this product I'm planning to review today is somewhat new. This tech I'm referring to is an e-bike or what some would call an electric bicycle. The guys over at TST reached out to me to see if I wouldn't mind reviewing one of their latest e-bikes so I figured this would be the perfect time to experience something new and bring you all along for the journey. So let's finish getting this bike unboxed and assembled so that we can hit up some trails and see what it's all about. Before taking this bike for a spin I wanted to take a closer look at the design. Overall, I really like the look of this e-bike. For the most part, everything looks well built and seems really solid, but I know looks can be deceiving, so I'll wait until the test ride before giving my final thoughts. Now here's the real brain of the operation, this LCD screen. It allows me to adjust my pedal assist options, turn on my front headlight, see my speed, see my odometer, and more. Before taking this e-bike on any trails, I figured it would be a good idea to test the hydraulic disc brakes for safety reasons. All right, so the brakes seem to work fine, but I also thought it would be interesting to see how the front and rear brakes operate up close. So as with most e-bikes, this bike has paddle assist, which believe it or not, I've never experienced before, but I can see why this feature is a game changer. Having that extra boost of power from the 1300 watt rear hub motor really takes the work out of paddling. Afterwards, I test it using the throttle, which requires no paddling and makes the electric motor do all the work. I was surprised to see that the motor had enough power and torque to propel me up this somewhat steep hill. Now of course, this e-bike does allow me to change gears manually, and so far the derailleur and 7-speed shifter has worked well with no noticeable issues. The front handlebars and the placement of everything seems very practical, and again, just using the throttle allowed me to really enjoy the bike ride and the scenery around me. I next wanted to attempt to ride the e-bike through some dirt trails to see if the large 4 inch wide tires will be an issue when it comes to handling and to test the suspension as well. As for the battery life, on paper, they mentioned this e-bike has a range of 65 miles, which is pretty good, but I've been told when it comes to e-bike range specs, don't expect to see the same numbers in reality since different factors can affect the total range you get off a single charge. Now the battery does take about four to five hours to fully charge, and I do like that the battery can be easily removed from the e-bike. The top throttle speed for this e-bike is 28 miles per hour and throughout some of my speed tests that I performed on non-hilly areas, I would reach anywhere from 26 to 27 miles per hour which wasn't bad at all. So what's my final thoughts about this e-bike? Well, I like how the bike was packaged, the feel and design, the ease of use of the LCD screen, and the battery life. 
The speeds I was able to reach without having to paddle also made the e-bike enjoyable to ride. The instant torque was a nice feature as well when I was riding through trails or up hills. This e-bike is currently on sale and will run you a little over $1,000, which isn't too bad compared to some other e-bikes in this class. If you're interested in learning more about this e-bike, I'll leave a link in the description below. But overall, I like the e-bike. However, I would say this e-bike is for someone who wants a bike that can handle a variety of different terrains, but don't mind handling a heavier bike. If you're looking for a lightweight e-bike that you can easily lift, this e-bike may not be for you. In a way, I'm curious to know if you have an e-bike or have been thinking about getting one and why. Also, before you go, if you're just discovering this channel and enjoyed this video, you can watch some of our other videos by clicking on the left video thumbnail. And for everyone else, YouTube thinks you may be interested in the video on the right. Well, that's all for now. I'll see you in the next one.